we are back for year two of This Week in MLS with yours truly. Kyle Aaron, you know it. And my boy, Kaylin Carr. Aww. Hey! Aww. <laughs> What up? Hey, Sanjay Parker, guess what? We back, we back, season hey, let two. Hey, us back, how did this happen? <laughs> I, don't I don't know, this we had to pull amazing. a few strings. Wait, I also you. saw Sanjay commented, uh, okay. but when you reply, Susanna, it's just a dope thing. You're the best, Miss Collins. Yes, I am. I feel the same way. Sanjay. When you like text me back, I'm like, Aww. that's a dope thing that she, that she texted me back. Sometimes I do ignore him. That's, that's cool. That is the absolute truth. What's up, buddy? Not much, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, it's, some things haven't changed, obviously. Your boy, yeah. Kyle Aaron. Yes, uh, intro. I feel like we're, we're starting off on a really high note for Listen, you. Listen, the Kyle hype last year was like very chill. Mm -hmm. This year we're taking it to the next level. Next level, next Kyle level. Aaron hype. Um, all right, we, we've got some fun stuff to talk about today. We were out in LA for a media marketing tour. Um, but first, I want to I wanna start out with some of the, the biggest off-season storylines. So for you, Kaylin, what is the one storyline that you have been keeping your eye on? Expansion. I mean, there's two new teams coming in this season, of course, Minnesota and then Atlanta United. Mm -hmm. And the draft, we were out there. I think you interviewed pretty much every draft. Pretty pick, much. Felt like it. Which was Felt fun. Felt like it. Um, Abu Dunladi was taken first overall, of course. Uh, he's a guy that I've gotten to know pretty well. I had lunch with him yeah, when he was still in college at UCLA. I know some coaches there. Um, I think he's going to be a super talented player for Adrian Heath. And then Miles Robinson went number two to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. a, a good start for them as well. Mm -hmm. I talked to Carlos Bocanegra in the green room backstage at the draft, and he knows a thing or two about center backs. A little bit. Was singing this kid's praises, talking about his uh, his ability, his future potentially with the national team. So. Temper your enthusiasm, folks, of course, uh, with young players, but I think he's a bright one to watch. Exciting. What do you expect? Love this expansion. Year? Okay, and I'm not just saying this because I am a total Chicago homer, which everybody knows that I am. That's <laughs> fine. I am no apologies there. But um, I, I'm really excited about the signings that Chicago has made this season because, and, and we're gonna we're gonna talk a bit more about this this the big yes, one, the yeah. Dax one. Yeah. Um, but I really Nikolic Janino. Um, I just I feel like they're finally kind of bringing in some pieces. Now, do I think that they're going to you know suddenly be in competition for cup? Probably not. But Wait, the Cubs win the World Series and you can't believe in the fire. Listen, anything is possible. Anything Come is on. possible. You're so right. You're so right. Um, but I just I think that for it feels like for the first time in a long time that fan base has has a real reason to be excited. And I, I don't think there's any reason they can't be competing for those top six spots. Let, let's talk about Dax a little bit. Let's talk what, about Dax. What, what was Dax. your initial reaction? Shock. Right. I mean, literally like shock. And I apparently he was too. I don't know if you caught that that tweet that he sent I out did. about that was, it. That was great. Um, I think he used the word blindsided, which, you know, he was so entrenched in in the Red Bulls culture. I mean, he was a fan favorite. Everybody loved him. And um, you know, when you think about like just how far they have come, um, for him to you know suddenly that trade to happen, he understands that it's a business. But that had to be a huge, huge shock for yeah, him. Yeah, and his, really his teammate was. Bradley Wright Phillips spoke just about that. You can't be replaced, Dax. Um, I don't know how that even sounds, but just not just on the field. I think off the field, he's like. <laughs> He's one of a kind, you know what I mean? Great guy, great captain, and an even better player, so it's going to be tough. Not a guy you want to give up. You can't lie to me and say that this team is better without Dax McCarty sure. on it. So a trade that I probably would have trouble pulling the trigger on, mm -hmm. but it wasn't to say that they were going to be better without Dax. It was an MLS, you have to sometimes take a piece away to add a piece. They got a lot of allocation money. Um, and going to be able to use that potentially for a center back mm -hmm. or another position. And Chicago finally gets that piece, as you mentioned. Yeah. You know, they've been through tough times and they've got some nice foreign signings, but to have an American guy who's now just been called up with the national team yeah. um, in that locker room, mm -hmm. I think is going to be huge for them. And him and Juninho as a center midfielder, potentially with Polster, yeah. that's a really nice uh, central core to that team. I'm excited to watch that. All right, Kaylin, well, speaking of the U.S. men's national team, another member of that team, Jermaine Jones, officially signed with the Galaxy, and we had a chance to speak to some of his U.S. men's national team teammates, and they had some high praise for Jermaine. Any team Jermaine Jones is on is, is automatically a better team. He will be the heart and soul of that team. I think if you're the Galaxy, you're looking at him to be a leader on the team. He's a winner. I'm super stoked just to have him uh, aboard of the LA Galaxy, and I'm looking forward to our season this year. They've got a gem in, in Jermaine Jones. You could see this one coming, right? Yeah. I mean, how much time has he spent in Los Angeles? <laughs> he loves LA. Courtside, at Lakers games. <laughs> and his family's there. So yeah. it's nice for Jermaine to finally be reunited with his family. I know that will help him a lot. You know, those feelings off the field and, and your lifestyle off the field does make a difference how you do on the field. 
and he gives them a piece in the center of the park underneath where they really haven't had that driving force in a while. Some guys that can kind of go laterally side to side. He gives them a more direct presence. I think he's going to be really good underneath with uh, Dos Santos and mm -hmm. maybe Keen. Maybe Keen. We don't Do quite we know what's happening. What's happening? happening? Yeah, what's but happening? The, the Galaxy with a nice piece there. And Kaylin, another big move. LA trades AJ De La Garza to Houston for some allocation money. Um, and you know he's a guy who is very much like a part of that Galaxy culture. He's done a lot for that team. Um, what does he bring to Houston? It reminds me a little bit of the Dax McCarty trade. You know, you lose a guy who's been such a, a heart and soul of the team and. You know, obviously, I think the Galaxy will feel that, but Houston, like Chicago, is getting a piece that they're going to be able to really build around. Mm. Uh, as you say, the culture in the locker room, a guy who's going to be able to lead the charge. AJ, I know you're going uh, out to Houston. They're going to take care of you, man. Don't worry. Uh, Tex-Mex, El Tiempo. <laughs> hey, comment if you like queso. You Got know? it. I feel like. <laughs> Got to get the food wrecks in. That just happened. I like wow. it. I comment like it. if you like queso. I, I will. Journalism. I will comment We're starting a high how bar much I love queso. this year. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think he's going to be a big piece for them going forward. And the Galaxy get a little more money to play with. I like it. Maybe, yeah. maybe that could be his nickname, Queso. I want some free uh, text mix. Right now I'm hungry. Um, all right, some news uh, that, to talk about. The CCL has um, announced a, a format change. They are increasing the number of teams in the tournaments. It was 24. It is now 31. It's going to be two separate tournaments. And it's going to be based on location, I believe. Is this is this what mm -hmm. we're? Yeah, there's a, there's a number of changes. You know, the expanded field is probably yeah. the biggest one that you'll notice. Um, and then, of course, it's going to the home and away knockout yeah. instead of the sort of cumbersome group stage that they play. It makes it a little bit more dramatic, I think, when you play a team in Honduras and then you come to uh, Houston, where I was, uh -huh. or you know, I guess it'll be Colorado and some of these other places this year. Um, so I, I kind of like this change, and I think you know, for MLS teams to really make some noise outside of just domestically, we have to be able to be competitive in the Champions League. I think this format change allows two winners and more opportunity for more teams to play, see our MLS teams play, and hopefully us uh, get a chance to knock out some of these Liga MX teams. Um, Kaylin, it's time for a favorite part of the show. Did you see that? Um, we can't find our button though, which is where is it? I, where is our button? I think I got my privileges revoked. I Probably. used it too many times. You, you last kind of it's too much it. fun. You used it. It is. It's a great button. Ah, oh, oh, up there here. it is. There it is. Oh, did boom. you see that? One more. Okay. Did you see that? It is. There it is. Okay, All right, guys. It? So this was we were out in LA uh, last week for media marketing tour, and um, you were like we had everywhere. You were like celebrity sighting. No, it I was like ridiculous. I'll let you say that. I'll let you say that. But yeah, take it. Take a look at some of the antics we got up to. What is this day like? It's chaos. Our boy Kalen yeah, is he, he's doing his best Jack Harrison impression. How do you think he's doing? He's doing amazing. Put the camera on him, I don't know. You guys having fun today? Being able to kind of hang out as teammates on the road? Yes. It's very nice. Yeah. Very enjoying the day. That's cool. Um, oh, uh-oh. Oh, I'm being fired. Hello, guys. Give me your best uh, model face real quick. I'll do one, too. We, we did the show at MLS Cup. Have you thought more about taking over our show and mainly <laughs> taking my job? No, you guys are doing great. I told you many times before, I love the show. What a guy, that Sasha. Yeah. He's so generous. He is. <laughs> He's contributed a lot to the show. I know he has, I know actually. You're watching, Sasha. I love him. Watching, He's man. very good. He's yeah. very good. Um, I should also point out that we. You and I might have had a little photo shoot with a, a certain MLS superstar. We did. Um, and we're just going to leave that nugget <laughs> right out there. Yeah. Tease that because... Somebody was pretty excited. Somebody was pretty excited. Yeah. So we're and just... That was yeah, me also. That was very yeah. excited. Was um, you guys, it is so... I mean, preseason is is here. It's around the corner. Around the corner. We're going to be doing these shows season. every other week, I think, to start. That's right. Every yep. other week until the season starts. Build up um, to the but we also... The we we want to remind you guys, the first day of the season is coming up. Uh, regular season starts on March 3rd, Minnesota will travel to Portland. They play their first game on FS1. And then the other expansion team, Atlanta, they are going to host the Red Bulls on Sunday, March 5th. That is also going to be on FS1. Just two games of a full slate that two we've got going teams. on. Two expansion Starting teams. I'm so excited. Yeah. Like I can, I'm, I'm starting to feel like the the buzz happening. Yeah, and we don't have to do any preseason fitness tests. That's the Nothing. best part. Nothing. I know. Just mas queso. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm already eat as informed. much queso as we want. Queso. Let's Bring go. on the queso. More yeah. queso. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah. This was really fun. We should um, leave them with some outtakes of uh, what it's like behind the scenes of making the show. You have no idea. Whoop, right. whoop. We'll start at the two shot. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. And they had some high praise for Jermaine. High praise. It was all about intonation there. I felt really good about it. Ah! 
All right. Um, what is it? Should I have teed that up? I'm just gonna let you do the rest of the show. <laughs> We're not going to the two shot on that one. All right. Take two. <laughs>